In this video, we're going to use Chitra's Chara Chitra GUI script to extract a Chara signature from a malware sample that we can then use to identify uh, different malware samples that use that code segment. To this end, I'm going to use the DACU2 sample in which I've already identified a candidate function. It's the XDOR or decode function the decompilation of which you can see here. I think this function is very well suited for a Chara signature because it's not a generic function. It looks like as if it's a part of a library function because you don't have just a XOR of the string, but you also here have a check that whether the, the string that you give it here is null. And if this string is null, then the output parameter here is also set to null. And usually if it's just throwaway code, you would simply have have only th basically this line in it or th these lines, but, but not all the lines around it. And also it's very good suited for Chara signature because you have the XOR key in, in here. So we will now mark this function as selected. You can also use the selection here. If you don't want a full function, you can only select parts here, but I'm going to use the whole function, mark it as selected. And then I'm going to use the um, script manager and I'm going to use for Jara. And this is the Jara uh, Ghidra GUI script. I'm going to run it. And you will then see the mnemonic and the operands here and the resulting Chara signature. What you can then also do, and this is um, highly advised to do, you can um, make some of these operands or also the mnemonics uh, optional. That is, they can contain any value that they want. And you have the option here, for example, to mask all addresses. And I'm gonna do this because the code, if it's in a different binary, the addresses will change. We can also possibly disable the key here, the XOR key, because a different sample might use a different XOR key. But we will use the rest of the code segment as is. Then we give the rule name, DACO2 XOR decode. And we can then copy this and then use, for example, hybrid analysis Chara, Chara search and search for this rule. And we should now find samples of DACU2 or related to the uh, DACU2 code base. So after the search is finished, we find samples here. And as you can see from the hash here, this is not the sample that we analyzed because I analyzed the sample with 8.1 at the beginning, but as you can see, it's sex reads, it's actually this sample. So we now can find different samples that use this code fragment. And as you can see, there have already been labeled here as DACU2 samples. But we can also take a look at other samples that don't have labels yet and see whether they correlate with the sample.